What is up guys? Welcome back to FC365 TV iDevice Central Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to preserve the baseband while trying to restore using Livey Mobile device. The procedure is kind of the same as restoring a custom made firmware, but in this case you're not going to update your NOR and your baseband of your device. So the purpose of this video, you want to um, to unlock your device, you have RSIM and you are on a an older uh, basement that it's compatible with that and you don't want to uh, to update the basement but you want to come to the um, to the latest iOS version how you do you have to preserve the basement you have so in order to do that I'm going to use the iPhone 4s for test purposes and the iOS 9.3.1 as the far more okay so what we need is Libby Mobile device. Libby Mobile device is in the description if you need it. And iRecovery in order to take the device out of the recovery mode after that. So you have to enter in a CMD, command prompt right here. And of course you have to put your device in recovery mode. It's recommended to be in recovery mode. Okay, Android iDevice restore, oh sorry. CD into the location where you have LIBE and write iDevice restore. And you will see something like I see right here. And here are the parameters. Okay, so as you can see, there is something called X exclude and it says exclude NOR and baseband upgrade. Okay, so it basically excludes the NOR and baseband. On the older versions, it also preserves the uh, the jailbreak, but on this um, on these versions nowadays, it cannot preserve the, uh, the jailbreak. But the baseband works okay, I think. So what do we need to do? At first, we need to grab our uh, ACID. So we're going to write again iDevice restore line i from here, and we need ACID. Therefore, I gotta go in iTunes. And as you can see, iPhone 4S, and I'm, I'm going to take my ACID from it. Good. Now we need to pass the parameters, which is X for exclusion. And I got to insert the IPSW right here, which is the uh, iPhone 4S, iOS 9.3.1, latest IPSW. It has to be a signed IPSW. This cannot be used for downgrading your iOS version and it's not an iCloud bypass method to, uh, to uh, make things clear. So before we start, I want to tell you that I'm not liable for any data lose, for any, um, for any update you made by mistake or for any update on the basement that this application may, may make even if you pa pass the X parameter because the application is not created by me. Therefore, I don't, I don't know how it can behave if it's broken. So you do it at your own and your full risk. Messing with baseband is not for anyone because you cannot restore your device if you destroy the baseband. Of, of course, the odds to uh, destroy the baseband are <laughs> very small, but uh, even if it, it, it happens, you cannot restore your device after all. And um, you better watch out, you better take, uh, take care of what you're doing with iDevice Restore and you cannot help me, uh, you cannot help me liable for anything you do with your device. You follow this video because you want. Okay, so after we we um, established the legal terms, we can press enter. So as I said, you're doing it at your own risk. It will detect automatically the uh, device, the build, the serial, the whatever you want. And it of course will grab TSS records, which is um, which basically are the SSH uh, bloops. SHSH bloops from Apple, the signing window. Okay. This also works for iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S and so on. It's not only for A5 devices. Uh, I think on, on older devices, as I said, you can preserve the, the um, baseband and also the NOR part, which is um, the jailbreak. But on uh, on those devices, I don't, I don't think you can do that. But I think the uh, baseband might work. So we're gonna go through the partition and through anything like that. Have to uh, have to wait basically. It also has the previous restore um, exit status, unique chip IDs, 
and successfully entered in, uh, in restore mode. Also, what you need to do is to install iRecovery and Live USB after you restore, because you, if you install it before you restore, you will get stuck at um, uh, recovery mode. Okay, cannot enter in recovery mode. As you can see, it has a different restore process. It gets um, everything from from iBoot and from kernel, and actually, it fetches a log from MNTs. It's kind of different than on normal uh, iCloud bypass restore. You can see here the uh, the caches that are being uh, written in the mount one system library caches com apple kernel cache kernel cache again entering install secure vault daemon linking mnt1 users as being secure key vault to d which is a daemon to whatever checking for nand about the send file system the file system will get sent I'll be back when it gets it. It has uh, written a log a file on MNT restore log. We can fetch it via sys syslog relay. Okay, guys, as you can see here, the um, the process is done. Not sending nor data quitting. So therefore, no basement was restored to because the restore of the basement was made during the um, nor, nor part. So now the phone is in a recovery mode. To take it out of the recovery mode, there are three different ways. The first one involves using red snow, going to uh, extress and uh, recovery fix. But this one is a soft one for A5 and up devices. You can also use tiny umbrella if you want, which invo involves a better criteria of taking it off. You can also use iRab if you want. Let me start Tiny Umbrella to see if it starts, okay? And show you how to uh, take it out of, out of the recovery mode. It is a uh, Java application, so you have to have uh, Java installed. Okay. I will link any application in the description, so both Tiny Umbrella and anything else. Connected I gotta go here recovery device Okay, but where is, where is that option? Hopefully they didn't take it out Okay action Hmm actually I think they they actually take the uh, the option out Okay, so you can no longer use I recovery in order to uh, to take it out of the recovery mode from what I can see here Okay then you can also use the video in the description which involves using the iRecovery, an application based on CLI, on uh, CMD application, okay? And follow the tutorial in the description to take your device out of the recovery mode and you're done. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, peace out. See you then.